Hi guys, this is Fu from FoxTech and today I'm very glad to show you the DJI's newest handheld gimbal and this is DJI Ronin and the Ronin is designed for the professional photography and also for the cinema man who make really professional video and movies okay now, now let's see the appearance the Ronin is made of uh, full common fiber and also CNC aluminum which made it really lightweight and also very strong and also really really nice looking and all the rolling is quick detachable that means you can just detach everything in a very short short moment uh, including the gimbal itself the handheld bars and also this supporting rack right here uh, the rolling you see it's uh, suitable for various of cameras, including the smallest is uh, uh, like a NX5, NX7, and also the biggest camera can be as big as the Red Epic, and also the BMCC professional uh, film uh, camera right here. So, okay, the whole running is shipped in this really big carrying package. It's really big and really heavy, about 13 kilo, and we suggest maybe DJI can make some smaller box for it, so it's easy to carry. Okay, so let's go back to the accessories. Uh, it comes with the running itself, uh, comes with the folding supporting rack here, and uh, comes with a right here is the radio control, and the radio control you can control the uh, smoothness of its going back speed, and also control the three mode of your it. And also, uh, if you hang this one on a very big spot, you can just use the radio control to control the, the including the roll, the pan, and also the tilt axis. Okay, so uh, like I said before, the camera is a big lens support, and also the supporting bar right here, and also it comes with uh, different uh, screws, different screws to, for uh, suitable to different cameras mounting on, the, on, on this gimbal. Also some uh, screwdrivers and also with a charger for the battery uh, and also some adapters for uh, using this uh, charger in different countries. Also a USB cable and also a handheld uh, this screw right here and also here some sub affordable mountings for to mount the different like uh, monitors and also the GoPros on, on this bar. Okay so you can see now the gimbal is uh, attached with the supporting bar. I use the this micro tapes comes with the gimbal. Now I'm going to release it. Okay so uh, maybe before the most difficult thing is to set the balance of the camera on this gimbal uh, because you have to adjust the three axes together maybe um, but on running it can be very simple like you can see we just uh, balance of the camera uh, nearly perfect you can see I, the camera can stop at any angle the balance is very perfect and adjusting process is really easy now let's just see the rolling itself the rolling it's like this. It's a handheld gimbal driven by three big motors and the motors are really powerful. I touch it with my hand, I can barely move it because the torque of these motors are really big because it can be suitable to the BMCC which is a really giant camera. So it made the motor really powerful. Okay, so here, let me turn back to you. Here is the special smart battery for the Ronin is like this. Uh, the black uh, 3S depot uh, comes with a wattage, wattage indicator. So uh, it will always light up uh, during operation so you can know the battery level. Okay, with the fully charged battery, you can make Ronin work for four hours. I think it's quite enough. Okay, let's just put it back. Okay, by pressing the battery button here for well, one second, you can make Ronin work. Okay, just wait a bit. Okay, the Ronin has three operation mode. Here is the normal mode that uh, you can carry it in this way or in this way. Uh, but for the high position shooting, you can also, let me show you, you can use this way.
So the camera will be turned upside down, and when you edit your video, you can just uh, upside down your video. But it's really simple because now I can see the uh, video from my camera right here. And also the operation can be uh, a little bit easier than the first mode. You see the camera will follow my move, and also the tilt and the pan axis will follow my move, and uh, making the shooting video really easy. Okay. So another mode is the carrying mode. You can carry this handle. And wait a bit, it will enter this mode. And this mode is very useful when you shoot some really low target, like this, and also safe strings. Okay. When you go back to normal position, it will enter the first mode, making the shooting really easy. And also, the mode switching between three modes are really quick. Okay, I just show how the gimbal works, and also, because you need to use different camera, different lens on the gimbal, I'm going to show you how to adjust the balance of the cameras on the gimbal. Okay, uh, let me turn sideways. Here is uh, some quick release. By releasing this, you can okay, here use here is the two handle to adjust the Z axis. That means the, the pan axis balance. And uh, once the, the balance is done, uh, you have to lift one side of your gimbal, and uh, you see if the the, the, the under part turns sideways. If you turn this way, that means this part is heavier. You need to turn adjust uh, the balance again uh, but it's quite simple to do that after adjustment you can adjust the, uh, yeah hold this some um, quick release the axis will be locked and also the adjusting of the tilt and also the low axis is uh, similar uh, here is some quick detach on two sides by detaching this you can move your camera downward like this or upward like this so this makes the balance adjusting really easy uh, so I just keep the balance on this axis and uh, hold so it's just uh, like this and also for the camera position now you can move it Just to keep camera really balanced on the row axis and, the and tighten the hand screw right here. So the balance adjust is then. It's really simple. And also when you have to detach your camera, here is another quick release. And uh, just do in this way. Your camera can be released. So in this case, you can change the battery, change the SD card, really easy. And uh, when you are going to put it back, and uh, you have to adjust the balance on the tilt axis. But uh, it's really easy. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to release this axis, meaning you have to remove the handbar right here. Uh, it's very easy, just by loosening the screw right here, and here is a switch, you push the down, and the whole gimbal can be released in this way. So it can be very easy to carry in that case. Uh, put it back, it's very easy, and make sure you tighten the screw right here, or the gimbal will shake. Okay, what I also have to mention is because we are going to use different lens, different cameras on it, in that case, the gimbal will recognize the, gimb uh, the camera weight and adjust the parameter in, uh, in itself automatically. It's very amazing. Uh, because uh, in that case, you have to maybe I change another camera on it and adjust the balance. And while it's done, the gimbal will adjust the parameter by itself. You can just see it in the computer. It's really amazing. Okay, for the last part, I'm going to show you how to uh, fold this support rack. You see, just uh, very easy. So, 
it's easy to carry. You're going to need this when you use it in the field, and uh, because in that case you have to, maybe you have to adjust the balance again for your camera. Okay. Okay, let's then. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to use the radio. Uh, in the normal case, you can use your radio to control. You see, this is the pan axis and the tilt axis, and also you can control a row axis in a special mode right here. And uh, here's special mode for you to turn back, turn it back, uh, but uh, not the tilt axis. Now I'm going to show you how to adjust the smoothness of your going back speed. Here I'm going to use the most smooth speed, that's the slowest speed. And when I move the gimbal, the camera will follow, but uh, in a very slow speed. This is too slow, so I'm going to use the fastest, fast following speed. It will be like this. And also you can choose to adjust the following speed in the computer. Uh, and also adjustment software is really easy to use, just to have a few adjustment functions. Okay, so here is a brief introduction about the DJI's really professional handheld gimbal for the cameraman. And I'm, I'm going to do a really few test with it, and I hope you enjoy. And this is Fu from Foxhack. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.